Where you walk by you tata, hmm. you walk by ye gele gele, hmm. Ou tata no revia lo giso, evia lo giso e orio giamie. Yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is J. Arrow Sydney for the Sydney Table Talk Show, the XTTS. And at the same time, I am the president of the Association of the Indigenous People of Benin in Europe for the Human Rights in Benin City. AIPBE is a registered organization with the Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria. The sole objective of this organization is to fight for the fight against the violation of human rights by anybody in Benin, starting from the state government, to the privileged against the unprivileged. But this evening, I am going to address the last video that Iran Amigo Edekwe, who happens to be the president of the People's Freedom Movement, PFM, and his brother, Collins Omwede, who lives in Germany, released on the YouTube. In that video, they were both laying claims that Chief Water Egbobawaye, a prince and a chief from the Ogiso Ogiame royal dynasty, was captaining and sponsoring Uyi Edo's as a terrorist against the Obaro of Benin. But as I am talking to you, and I believe as you will be listening to this video, there are no claims by the Obaro of Benin that he has been subjected to any form of terror attacks by Uyi Mofi Edos. But rather, Uyi Mofi Edos has been accusing the Oba of Benin of violating the customary laws of our land. This is all we know. We do not know and we are not aware that Uyi has been organizing any act of terror against the Oba of Benin. But to the knowledge or what I might define as it is, I could call it this way. It is a figment of imagination of Iran Omigo to have accused water, a Bobawai, of being the captain or a terrorist on the social media. You see, Mr. Iran Omigo, this issue is not just going to end up like that. We are going to take up this issue with you very seriously because you made claim, you made a statement. You did not make that statement once. You repeated a statement. You repeated a statement. You said, Water Ebobawaye is a captain. He is a terrorist. And that you and calling somewhere there are nothing but the commanders of a counter anti-terror organization. Now, when you look at the statement, commanders of anti-terror organization, that would explain your mental situation, Iran Amigo. You are mentally sick somehow. You know why you are mentally sick? We people from the Evian Ogiso royal dynasty, by the grace of God, the custodian of the Ogiso dynasty, we do not place cause on living beings, not to talk of those unborn. You are already a psychiatric patient, Iran Amigo. If you are not a psychiatric patient, you swear by Ogun, by all the dirty deities that you that you and your Oba of Bene and calling somewhere there, that you worship. You swore by them. In the next five seconds, you brought out the Bible and you were equally using the Bible against living souls. Do you even know the meaning? Do you know what you were doing, Iran Amigo? Do you know what you were doing? I told you earlier on, desist from attacking members of the Ogiso Ogiame royal dynasty. 
You are not from the Obas family. Allow the Obas family to do what you are doing. Allow them, not you, Eran Amigo. You see, Eran Amigo, I will not swear for your children. I go on my way. I go on my way. But I go on my way. I can wear my son or my son. I can Because you do not. Civilization does not allow people like me to place cause on anybody born, unborn, sick, not sick. Civilization does not allow it. Because I'm an activist. My social and my fundamental role is to defend human rights. It's not to intimidate. You cannot call yourself an activist when you are placing costs on people and their unborn generations in an amigo. A bunny is going to come, come back to you, not your children, you in an amigo. You in an amigo. You will never enjoy what you suffered for in America in that city. And if you think I'm lying, you fly to Nigeria and see what will happen to you. Those people you are defending right now that you think you are working for, they will disgrace you, just like what they did to the one who called himself the commander of Benin Royal Army who lives in the UK. You see what happened to Iduria? You try and go to Nigeria. You will, they will do worse to you. They will make you eat their shit, their faces. They will make you drink their pee. You know, you are the biggest fool I have ever met, I have ever known, Iran Amigo. A way, a walk, a way. A boy from your village once told me that you are only looking for fame, that you should not be taken serious because you are a motherfucker. And I challenged him. I told that boy that even you were working on professionally, even when you were talking some rubbish, but the fact that you have courage to, to defend, to fight for those voices, Shows that you are you are what encouraging, but now I have come to see that that boy was very right. You are actually fighting for fame. You insulted Obaseki every day. You insulted Obaseki every day. But when you discovered that Obaseki did not call you to give you some money or some contract, now. You are now working for the Oba of Benin. Probably the Oba of Benin will call you to give you some, give you some of the stolen lands that himself and the family has been stealing from people. That is why you are not defending the Oba of Benin. You live in America and you said you are a security man. Do you know the meaning of a republic in an amigo? America is a federal republic. Nigeria is a federal republic. We do not have monarchs. When you hear them call them monarchs, it's just a sign of respect. There are no legal appellations to this, to the use of these languages. There are, there are no legal background, Iran Amigo. The above being is under the local government chairman. You saw what happened in Kano State, motherfucker. Hmm? You just can't wake up. And begin to call somebody a terrorist. Of all this nonsense that you have been doing, you, you have been insulting people. I have never had the Obas Palace call you on your program. Not even the Benin Traditional Council call you on your program to support you. Or to support all the trash that you are saying. And you keep doing more. Like I said, I will pray for your children. May they live long. And your wife. But you, you will definitely... You will definitely end up the way you wish other people. Oh, we are going When we use was we are pony. We do your short, short hand and your short, short legs. That is how you are going to die like Mr. Nobody. Very soon you will end up in Dallas, in the psychiatric home of Dallas. That is where they will send you to very soon. Otherwise, you don't swear Ogun, swear Bible. Swish and go together. What do you believe in your life? Are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Are you a pagan? I don't know what you belong to. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a pagan. I'm an African, Iran Amigo. I don't believe in religion. I cannot swear. My civilization will not allow me to swear. But I'm saying that you should be the benefactor of your cause, Iran Amigo. 
You are asking water to go to the palace of the Oba of Benin. How many times? How many times are we going to repeat this thing to you, Ranomigo? The Ogiamians are not slaves to the Oba of Benin. If you have accepted slavery in the 21st century, the Ogiamians are no slaves. And in the second place, Ranomigo, any invitation by any traditional ruler, any invitation is not obligatory. I have repeated this on several videos. When a traditional ruler invites any Nigerian to his palace, it is not obligatory that you must go. You go out of privilege. You go because you want to respect the traditional ruler. And when you do not go, the traditional ruler cannot do any shit. You are just talking rubbish. I, you remember in my life, I told you, very soon we will be meeting with, the, I will be meeting with the Obo of Benin at the Federal High Court with my association. I want to know from the federal government of Nigeria if the Obo of Benin actually has the right, has the right to be installing his brothers as royal highnesses to go to village and be stealing people's land, rendering people poor in an amigo. Can't you see what you are doing to humanity, what you are doing to your people in an amigo? 75% of the beggars we have in the streets in Europe, they are all from Yekoriomo, Ikbobaoko, Anuhumo, De, your own people. And the man who is responsible for this whole rubbish, the Obar of Benin, is the same man that you are saying you want to die for. Iran amigo, I want you to come to Italy and speak with those beggars and ask them where they come from. 75% of them, they are from Urunigbe, Ewesi, Ebuko, Ebugo. Oh, oh, these are typical Yekorium villages, and this is where you come from. Ranomigoru, and why? You better be very, very, very careful, and you must desist from talking to what I Baba Waye. Waru, and why otherwise? The next time you sit on that chair and mention Water's name, who are they here? I don't even know why the Americans are not even seeing the nonsense you are doing with their flag. You are desecrating their flag, Iran Amigo. You are desecrating the American flag. Look at the way you talk about the FBI, the FBI, the FBI. Do you know what the FBI stands for, Iran Amigo? The FBI is an internal organization in America. When you were talking about investigation, external investigations in Anomigo, we're not talking about the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA in Anomigo. You live in America, you have, you worked as a prison police officer. You do not even know how the regulations, you do not even understand the modus operandi. In America, we have very, very many security organizations. We have the Homeland Office. We have the National Security, which is the NSA. Iran Amigo, I am warning you, disease from water, a boba wires. Disease, seriously, because a water, a boba wire is not your mate. A boba wire is a firm representative of the Nigerian government in Germany. It's what the Nigerian government, what Nigerian government would define as a gallant representative a good entity, a diplomatic instrument, somebody who has represented the Nigerian government very well in Germany. You now, you are now working for a drug dealer, the one who calls himself Collins Omwede. Omwede is using you, that small Omwede, the calling, who call, calling Omwede, who is a drug dealer, calling Omwede, who has been to prison, calling Omwede, who still has a lot of cases on his head. He went to prison for sponsoring women in an amigo, if you are not aware. Or when they went to prison for sponsoring women. Or when they ran away from Nigeria for robbery. That was how he came to Europe. He had the case of robbery in Nigeria, then he ran away from Nigeria. He sold his father's house and ran away from Nigeria to come to Europe. Just imagine Omwede. Omwede. Omwede look at Omwede. Omwede is the most stupid human being that I've ever seen. And Nigeria, and you people should not invite a uh, chief water like Bob to your parties. Who are you, Omwede, to tell Nigerians whom to invite and who not to invite? Do you have the pedigree, Omwede? If you go to anybody's party in Germany, the police will invade that place because you are a criminal. 
You are a criminal, calling somebody a typical and a dirty criminal. A boy and not you know where I am when he wear a top or a top, but who wear top? Where me or ya enjoy one in a boy in Nigeria? Who wear a bill? I'm with it. You went to Nigeria the other day. Look at the way they fuck you up, they messed you up. Eh? I'm with it. Stay clear from water, a boba wire. I'm sending this warning to you. Stay clear from what I boba wai because what I boba wai is not your mate. What I boba wai is what the Nigerian deserves in Germany. He has worked hard in Germany to defend the Nigerian entity. Omwede, I'm seriously warning you because you have a big problem. Your problem is that you suffer from what I call inferiority complex. A man without no brain, just like the one who call the one you call your the one that you are engineering. You are engineering Iranomigo. Iranomigo, that Bush man who came to Nigeria, he came to Benin City in the eighties to stay with to live with his uh, sister. He was living with his sister at Ewaka Street, that big fool. Iranomigo, that village boy. Iran amigo, Iran amigo, show me where your father built his house in Benin. Not the one that you built. The one that your father built in Benin. Because you want to tell us that you know Benin. What do you know about Benin? You lived in the village. You were born and brought up in the village. And your parents had to sell their agricultural farms, whatever, farm, farm plantations, cassava plantation, plantain plantations, to send you to America rather than go there and go to school. You are still fooling yourself around. You now see yourself as the most important Nigerians in Dallas. Ah, nobody can talk to me in Dallas. He may what they be. You know, in Dallas, uh, I'm, the, I'm, an un, I'm the untouchable. Who told you that American policies do not recognize untouchable? You are desecrating the American flag. I hope that one day the United States of America will realize that idiots like you need to be sent back to Benin. You are so proud of the Oba of Benin. You call him God. There is no name you will not call him. And the same man is afraid to come and tell people that he is God. He cannot come and say he is God. The Oba of Benin cannot try. Let him try. You are the one that is defining him to be God. The Oba of Benin cannot say he is God. Hmm? amigo. You are living in America. You are enjoying freedom. Liberty. And people are accusing President Trump. People are insulting President Trump. That is the greatest man in the whole universe. The most powerful man on earth. People are accusing Queen Elizabeth, the most powerful monarch in the 21st century. And just imagine you. You are telling people not to accuse a chief, a local chief in Nigeria, who is under the local government chairman, the Oba Obinim. Can you imagine what you are doing to people? You are trying to brainwash people, Iran Amigo. You are trying to bring us backward. The Oba of Benin is a chief by Nigerian laws. His use of royal majesty is for the fun of it. It's for the fun of it. Eh? It is only the Oba of Benin who will always make criminals chiefs. Look at around him. There are a lot of criminals around him who are chiefs. Um, there, I am sending this warning to you. You better stay clear from what I bobo. If you don't stay clear, your end will be very, very, very dirty. You will end up badly. And let me tell you again. Because your own is becoming too much. You just can't look at somebody who is progressing more than you out of jealousy. You begin to look for a way to bring that person down. Are you in your normal senses calling somebody? Nigerians should not invite water to their parties. Who are you? Who the hell do you think you are, uh, Collins? Who the hell do you think you are? You that dirty idiot who went to prison for sponsoring women. Just imagine the funny about being who can make you a chief, somebody who has been to prison. Eh? Look at Iran Amigo. Iran Amigo does not even understand anything at all. He's completely a stupid and a big fool. Eh? He insulted Obaseki, insulted Obaseki, insulted Obaseki, thinking that Obaseki will call him and give him some money. Because it is very usual of the average Nigerian. 
When he discovers that Obasegi did not call him, now he is trying to go the other way. What he's trying to go now, he's thinking that the Oba of Bini can give him some of the lands that he stole from the indigenous people in Edo South. Because that is what the Oba of Bini is doing. All the lands himself and his family stole. They used these lands to entice people to their side, to make people come around them and give them the support. Eran Amigo, you are not the only person living in America. In the United States of America, you have people from the Oba's family. Highly educated people allow them to defend their family, Ranomigo. When we take one years was one with your short short hand and your short short legs, Ranomigo. You think you are healthy? You will be when you are when you are just that stupid. Look at me. Look at me, Ranomigo. I'm above fifty. You know, I start to take care of myself. I stop eating those rubbish that you are still eating as a, because you are a little boy. You are mentally sick, and amigo. Somebody who will swear by Ogun, swear by the Bebo, is a mentally sick human being. And I'm going to round up, and amigo, and call in somewhere there. Very soon, I am going to get the message that one of you is already at the psychiatric home. Who are you back here? Even why you bought my bag? Why are you bought Daiji? Because why I think we are total, we are more bog, we more. Now my B, we are more bog, we na B N. Who are you people? And no man, no you or anybody. If it is your boy, Benue sending you people, he's going to get the same result. But I hope it's not the one sending you people. And I hope that one day your families, Irano Migo and Omwede, they will call you people and sit you down and warn you to stay clear of this matter. The Oba family. In 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 Igodomigo, which is Bini Kingdom and Utazan Kingdom, we have three of the largest family. We have the Oba, the Ogiami, and the Obaseki. These are the three largest families. So a family wife he is not among the large family. I wonder why the two of you want to now die. I wonder why the two of you is taking this thing so personal. Eh? In an amigo calling somewhere there. Somewhere there. Big baby water, otherwise, if you are not working away, oh, let me give you people one very short story. Why I ran up my video for the day, and I'm going to call it somewhere there. Ewe the second is known as Oyudu. That was his guy's his, his nickname, Oyudu. When Ewe the second started bringing native daughters from Yoruba land to trouble Edogiawere, who was then the Ugiame. Edogiawere lost about three of his children. When Edogiawere went and consulted with native doctors of the indigenous Igodomigodu land in Asia, he was told that it was Eweka II who was responsible. Edogiawere told Eweka II physically that, And do you know what happened, calling somewhere there, and Edo, uh, Eweka II. Eweka the second, he a boy in your palace, but Eweka the second was assassinated secretly in the palace for his son, Akenswa, to become the Oba of Benin. Go and ask him, oh, you do, at Eweka the second. Amen, all like we. You know, you're walking your nyai. On this note, I want to leave you and I want to warn the both of you stay clear from Collins, stay clear from what I go by. Otherwise, even me, okay, do have no idea of you do. On this note, my brothers and sisters, Followers of the STTS, the Sydney Table Talk Show. And remember this, I am now the president of the Association of the Indigenous People of Benin in Europe for the Human Rights in Benin. My names are Johnny Raphael Sydney. I want to wish you all a quick recovery from COVID-19. Stay home, stay safe, and God bless you all.